Hey everyone, I'm Basanta from Smarter Guide. In this video, I'm going to show you a couple of tips for the photo editing, especially if you don't have Photoshop. Photoshop is a paid software and you need to buy it unless you are living in a country where you can get the crack. So if you don't have Photoshop, don't worry, there is an excellent tool um, that you can achieve a lot of Photoshop functionality on online without installing any software that's uh, pixel r and it has two different um, softwares like if you are very new to photo editing and you don't know many things on the uh, photoshop side then you may be uh, able to start with uh, pixel r ex that's a very playful version of the pixel r and there is another advanced uh, pixel r e that has many more features than x and you can uh, play around and um, it's pretty much uh, like uh, photoshop and this is free without installing any software you just need high speed internet that's all for that you need to go to the pixlr.com and from there for the first time if you are visiting for the first time you need to create account uh, choose pricing plan and from there you should be able to sign up with free version and that supports P pixel r x and e both for paid version there are of course uh, extra features uh, but most of the user doesn't need that paid version and uh, once you sign up log in with your username uh, email and password then uh, hit uh, pixel r e after that you can edit anything like um, for the first time you won't have this kind of uh, thing here but you can open any image in your pc you can load any image from the url for example if you want to edit uh, the facebook image directly you can do that too or you can edit any other um, online uh, media right from there uh, get the image url and load it uh, you can track all the history here um, but this uh, uh, history doesn't sync to your account because of free account unless you are paid it won't sync to the account but it will stay on that pc until um, you have um, that session even if you restart it should be on that pc because it will utilize the cache from the browser to store these things if you clear your cache then it will go away so today i'll show you a couple of tools to remove uh, the background from any picture how do you do that uh, for that i need to take two different samples uh, for example if you have totally different background that doesn't match any of your color like your body color or uh, clothing color then it's pretty easy otherwise um, there might be scenario like you're wearing green shirt it's similar to the background green background in that case it's a little bit tricky and you have to do a little bit of manual work on that let's get started first i'll go with clear background different background than your body or your um, clothes in that case it's pretty easy uh, for example in this picture uh, pardon me for using this low quality uh, picture but um, to get the appropriate picture i just selected from random picture there is background a little bit grayish background on the uh, back end and a little bit white but my body is totally different than both the background and uh, my clothes are also different for this once you uh, go to the um, again as i said earlier once you launch pixel r e you'll have this uh, um, layout once you open any image so after that um, you just need to hit wand tool to select certain things this is magic wand that selects based on the um, edge between two different uh, colors so um, for example this body color and hair color and the background color are different if i click um, select one tool and then click on here it will select all the color that matches that um, uh, same color so in this case this is selected as you see here and if i delete that color will go away and it will be transparent and similarly there may be a little bit different gray uh, color over here I can also do like this and uh, delete um, by selecting but 
hair I cannot do because I don't want to cut my nose I don't want to cut my hair that is a little bit tricky and doing manually is a little bit difficult but sometimes you need to do manual effort also but in this case for instance um, I can work with that like this thing I can just uh, use Marcus tool and select this part and delete but anything that join with your body it's kind of various shape you can just utilize the wand uh, magic wand and like i said earlier i'm just gonna use this select here uh, marcus tool here and um, i don't need this part either uh, let's get rid of that one also so with that with one single click on the magic wand um pretty much all the background is gone and i selected a couple of other um things like marcus tool to remove additional background that is far away from the object for example in this case i am the object and if i want um, anything far away from object i can use marcus tool but anything connected to the um, object you either need to use magic wand that will select depending on the color for example if this color and the background color match in that case you cannot use magic wand i'll show you on the next example but you can do the lasso select that is manual select so with this now i can uh, put anything on the background so let me get one picture nature picture and i'll show you how to add layer on as you go here let's say if i want um, this in the background i just select this image and click on copy image address right here and then go back to my tab uh, this is the one and um, layer and url as layer add url as layer after that just provide the url of that image it will load the url now if you see the size of the um, image that you just imported is different you need to be on the select tool so after that you just need to uh, expand it for your fit for the image to be fit so that's perfect now my picture is hidden i don't want that right in that case um, right now the first layer is locked you can click here to unlock it and then you can move it up so if you see now the previous background and current background is totally different now this looks perfect again this was totally different uh, color now let me go back to the this one in this case if you see here this one and this one is pretty much same i'll show you how does that work out let's say click here now if you see here it selected some of my clothes also i don't want to delete that part so the magic tool doesn't work in this scenario because the color in the background and the color in main subject is pretty much same so in that case what you can do is uh, you don't want to use magic but you want to use the lasso select uh, sorry for that you just need to be careful and as long as any uh, background is different than the subject you can leave it and apply the one to later on but uh, just focus on the subject where the background color is similar on the edge so for that i'm just gonna select this part and this is my cloth here right here like that and this is my cloth now my neck and from here it's uh, different I, I don't need to worry about much so let me select this part and delete now i think i need to apply similar effect over here because here again this is similar so let me do that right from here it's a little bit different but mostly similar that's why it doesn't detect by the magic wand and let me do it all the way here because there is a little bit of similar color on the total end also so now if i select like that and delete now uh, the main the problem 
is um, gone because the problem was the edge between my uh, body or the cloth and the uh, background color now that is gone with that we can apply um, magic wand so let's do that now it selects couple of few of the uh, background because the sky has cloud so it's a different color and similarly you can apply here and it removes that if you can apply here it removes that part uh, as i said earlier you can also do this marcus tool here and get rid of that part all the way like that and here again apply ma uh, magic wand because this is not rectangular and you may want to uh, and click on that magic wand click on that so if it doesn't clear fully you can just apply the um, lasso select on the remaining part so now there is a little bit of remaining and you can apply the lasso select let's do that delete similarly delete similarly again you don't need to worry about the further part you just need to worry about the edge from this subject there is still a little bit of remaining so anything from the subject is gone anything that is um, connected to the subject is gone now i can apply the um, marcus tool here to remove the further uh, remaining uh, plotter that are away from the object now i can apply any uh, background like i said before let's say let's put this background copy image address and go back to here add layer add your edge layer oh, something went wrong because that was not proper image url so i need to click on that now i can get image address and then go back here add layer and layer this should select <clears throat> now you have to be in select mode to expand so again this my picture is hidden so i need to change the background uh, layer and make it on the top unlock and then just drag it over so now if you see here i am in the middle of the jungle so that's how that's how you can change any background that's my time today thank you for watching thank you for watching my video please subscribe and share my channel and videos like my facebook page and don't forget to click on the bell icon next to subscribe button to get notified of my future videos if you haven't watched my previous videos go ahead and watch feel free to comment if you like to know something or have feedback for me until next video have a good time bye bye